Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us so much that he sent his son to live among us, to die on a cross, to rise again, that we might have eternal life. Let's never forget that. Praise God for all that he's done for us. Our word of encouragement today comes from Obadiah, uh, the first chapter, verse 15. The day of the Lord is near for all nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. Your deeds will return upon your own head. Now, if you know the book of Obadiah, it's, it's a minor prophet in the Old Testament. It's one chapter long, and basically it's a book against the people of Edom, uh, which are descendants of Esau, uh, for standing by while uh, the Israelites were attacked and plundered and all those things uh, way back when, uh, like at 850 B.C., that type of time frame. Um, the reason why it's important to us to, to hear these words today is because they're still applicable. We are responsible for our neighbors. We're responsible to, to love them and to help them out. Uh, and when we sit idly by and, and watch them, uh, bad things happen to them, we're going to be held responsible. Here it says, the deed you've done will return to you. Um, the fact is, is that we deserve nothing short of death and destruction. The fact is we deserve to be taken out. We deserve to be taken over. We deserve to be imprisoned and captured and killed because of our deeds. And yet we serve a loving God who sent his son to die on a cross to, to basically pay the, the price, pay the ransom for our sin. Our sins are not negated because of Jesus. It's not as if they didn't happen. They were placed upon him. And even though he was without sin, he willingly did that for us. And so as he did that for us, we need to do that for others. As we look around this great big world, there's many, many sins going on, if you will. There's many, many people with struggles and pain and hurts. And it's our job, our responsibility to reach out to them. The good news is, is that as much as these words go against us for the bad things we've done, I believe they also are for us for the good things we've done. That as we reach out to help other people, other people will help us in our times of need and distress. As we reach out to, to love people, other people will love us when we need to be loved. As we reach out to, to care for people and to lift them up and to help them and all these things that God might lead us to do, God will provide people to do that for us as well. There's kind of an ad, old adage that says, whatever comes around goes around. Um, and people kind of you know, look at that as just kind of a luck thing or just kind of you know, the thing of society, if you will, you know, you know part of our, our, our human condition. But in reality, I think that actually is applicable right here. When we do good things, God brings those good things back to us. When we help each other, God helps us through others. It's not just a matter of luck. It's a matter of God's plan and God's purpose. And God wants to use our good deeds and our bad deeds in order to make us more like Christ, in order to, to bless us and bring us hope and salvation. Now, for the people of Edom, uh, you know, the, the prophet Obadiah is, is saying they're going to be destroyed. And, of course, uh, in, in the end, they, they were destroyed. But there's also this hope within this um, that God has a plan, that God will deliver those who would choose him, that God will, will open his heart to anyone who comes back to him. It doesn't matter what we've done in the past. God will forgive us. God will restore us to himself if we seek him. All we have to do is accept that Jesus Christ uh, really did die on a cross and rise again for us, that, that he loved us that much and that, that he took on our sins at that point in time when we uh, receive him. Our job then simply is to repent and live for God and whatever that means. Praise God that we don't have to jump through all these hoops. We don't have to make all these amends, although sometimes we, we, we do go out and do that by the Spirit's leading. But all those things don't have to happen for us to be saved. What has to happen is we simply have to believe and repent and, and give our lives to God. Now, for most of us today, I know that you already believe that. You've already done that. Uh, you know, you're already saved. Praise God. But God also is offering that to those that we know. And coming back to this passage, it's about being responsible for our neighbors, being responsible for those that we love. Folks, it's our job to, to share the good news with those around us. In light of these trying times, in light of COVID-19, in light of uh, political chaos, in light of uh, racism uh, and the protests and things that are going on, let's share the love of God with people. Let's at least tell them what God has done for us. We're not trying to you know, force the Bible upon them, but as we share with them, let's pray that God will use that sharing and open up their hearts to all that God wants to offer to them. Praise God that someone brought the good news to you and that you chose him. Let's be that person that God can use to take the good news to someone else. And let's praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the awesome opportunity we have to be your children. 
Thank you for bringing someone into our lives who, who taught us about you and taught us the word and, and in such a way that our hearts finally got it, that we finally had that moment where we encountered you as the holy God and gave our lives to you. Father, there's so many people around us who have not yet had that moment or who have let that moment kind of slip away. Father, would you just allow us today to be used of you to, to bring that back? May we be a vessel that carries your love and your hope to the nation around us. May we carry it to our friends and our family members and our co-workers and our neighbors and, and all those that we come in contact with, not for our glory, but for your glory. Father, be with those today who are truly hurting. Be with those suffering from COVID-19. Be with those suffering from cancer and other diseases. Be with those who need your healing touch. Be with those who are suffering from racism and, and all the things that go with with that part of our world, that part of our, our nation and our and, yeah, and our world. Father, be with those who are suffering financially today and, 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 and need some help and, and we're not sure where their next meal is going to come from. And be with those who are suffering within themselves mentally. Uh, Father, be with those who are struggling spiritually. And may your word and your hope and your light in us bring about the glory to your kingdom. Thank you for all that you're going to do today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God has a plan to use you to reach people. Let that be the prayer of our hearts that God will use us to reach someone today. Today is Saturday, tomorrow Sunday. If you don't know, we're meeting here at church. We expect that our technical difficulties from last week will be resolved. And so if you can't meet with us here at church or you're not yet ready to do so, uh, you should be able to catch us online on our Facebook page at 11 or upload it to YouTube channel later on during the day. But we pray that you'll join with us. Uh, hear what God has to say. Tomorrow's word is from Jonah. Uh, most of us have heard of the book of Jonah and the great big story there. Uh, but let's look at it a different way tomorrow. I hope you'll join us for that. I hope you have a great day today and that God will use you. We love you. See you soon. God bless.